All right, everybody, welcome to another free live pronunciation class with Connect English. Let's start with a high world from our group. Are you guys ready to say hi, world? One, two, three. Hi, world. Okay, cool. Welcome to the class. If you're watching from around the world, please also type in the comments, hi from Kazakhstan, hi from Japan. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Carol, good. Valerio is here. Go ahead and take a seat anywhere you like. Good. We have our Italian students here now. So if you're watching from any other country, any other state, city, anything, hi from Miami, Florida. Say hi from <coughs> Bogota, Colombia. Type it into the comments, please. Uh, we love to see all of the countries and cities where our students are watching and learning from. So thank you for watching, everybody. And please type that in the comments. Also, click share. Give the class to your friends for free. If you share the class, you and your friends can talk about it later. And, uh, and keep on improving and practicing your English. So, we have an excellent group of students in the class today. Uh, we've got, let's see, it's uh, Binderia, Binderia? Yes. from Mongolia, that's awesome. Then we have Valerio and Carol from Italy. They are, they are students on our Pacific Beach campus, and they come over here to do the class every week. We have Ryoji from Japan, Flavia from Brazil, Jessica from Brazil, Oleg from Kazakhstan, uh, you know, Yamin? Yeah. Yamin from Saudi Arabia yeah. and Marcelo from Brazil. So we have a really cool mix of different nationalities and languages in the class today and watching on Facebook. So, okay, let's get started. I have two rules for my pronunciation class. Maybe some of you remember my two rules from the other weeks. Ryoji, what's rule number one? Rule number one is? Don't cross you. Exactly. Don't cross them. Uncross your arms because in my pronunciation class, we're going to be using our hands a lot, okay? So when students have their arms crossed, they frequently don't participate as much. They go, <laughs> and I want you to be, oh, ah, 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 in my pronunciation class. Be crazy, okay? Crazy is good in here. And rule number two is don't worry about mistakes, okay? You're gonna make some mistakes. I have chosen words that are especially difficult to pronounce, so, of course, you will make some mistakes, and that's okay, all right? I still think you're awesome, even if you make some mistakes, okay? So don't worry. We're going to learn from our mistakes in here. So, let's start pretty quickly here. Why did I choose these 10 words? They're difficult, but why these 10 specifically? Why? Why these 10? Same sound. There we go. Same sound or similar sound, okay? The little differences in the sound make a big difference in what they mean. And if we are not careful about the pronunciation, it can cause confusion. Okay? People who are having a conversation with you will say, what? I, what? Can you repeat? What? What? And they get confused. And the reason we are learning English is to communicate effectively without problems. So focus on these little details of pronunciation with us, and the little details will make a big difference in the meaning. Let's start with the first ones, okay? First one here, um, we have a unit of liquid measurement, right? In fact, my bottle of water is one liter of water, okay? One liter, okay? So it says here 1.0 liters of water. I need some water. Ryoji's drinking some too. Okay. So this one's pretty easy to pronounce. For this one, I need you to think about your teeth right here, okay? Jessica's doing it. She's going, good job. Okay. So think about your teeth and think about the top of your mouth. And think about where your tongue is. For this one, your tongue is high in your mouth. E, leader. Yeah, Carol, easy. Good job. Perfect. Okay. Vindere, uh, can you try it for us? Leader. Leader. Easy. Great job. Okay. Very good. Ryoji, give it a try. Leader. Leader. That's right. The tongue is high in your mouth. E, e. I mean, uncross it, man. Uncross. Thank you. Man. Good job. Okay. So your tongue is high in your mouth. E e e. That's an easy sound to say. Liter. Okay. Does anyone know what this word means, though? What does this word here mean? Ryoji, do you know this one? This one is uh, the word is garbage that is not in the garbage can. Okay. So if you see, for example, these papers, and they're just on the floor. Okay. They are litter. Okay. Litter. Litter is garbage that is not in the garbage can, okay? Ah, okay? So where do you frequently see litter? Where does it happen? In the streets. In the streets, yeah. People who are just drinking a Coca-Cola 
when they just throw it because they don't care, right? Is litter a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. Yeah, litter is bad, okay? So litter is garbage that is not in the garbage cans, okay? And so it makes an uh, ugly street or an ugly park or an ugly beach if there is litter, okay? So let's talk about the pronunciation of this. Again, think about the front teeth. Think about your front teeth here, okay? Carol, you're doing it. Good job, okay? Think about the front teeth, okay? Yeah, I think I can see you're doing it. Good job, dude. Okay? Think about the top of your mouth. And now, think about your tongue. Your tongue is low, and you have to breathe more. Litter. 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 That's it, Carol. But there you'll give it a try. Litter. Litter. Good. Open more, please. Litter. Good. And there you give it a try. Litter. Letter. Open more, please. Letter. Uh, letter. 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 That's it. I hear it. Letter. Okay. And Yamin, give it a try. Letter. letter. Good letter. job. And Marcella, your turn. Letter. Okay. Open more and breathe more. Uh, That's it. Good job. There was litter on the ground. Oh, let give it a try. Low tongue. Breathe out. Letter. Letter. Good job. And Flavia, give it a try. Letter. letter. Good. And Jessica. Letter. Okay. I want more open, more breathing. Letter. Lee. Not Lee. Now you're doing high tongue. <laughs> we need to do low tongue. You have to push your tongue down. Uh, litter. Better. Okay, that's an improvement. Just remember, you have to think about your tongue. Your tongue is low in your mouth. And breathe more. Litter. More air. Okay, litter. There is litter all over the ground after the party. Okay. And you can say there's liter all over the ground. Liter, it's like like water bottles. There is liter all over the ground. Maybe this can be liter, but if you say liter, there is liter everywhere. Like people say, wait, liter of what? Liter of beer? Liter of water? Liter of soda? Liter of juice? What? Oh, there's liter on the ground. Yeah, Jessica, even you try again with the lower tongue. Breathe, low tongue. Breathe out. Sure. That's better. I can, I can see it and I can hear it. Good job, okay? It's important to focus not on what we hear, but what we feel. So remember, low tongue, breathe more, okay? Low tongue, breathe more. Good improvement, Jessica. Nice work, okay? All right, let's do them as a class together. For this one, this is a unit of liquid measurement, right? Put the tongue high in your mouth. One, two, three, liter. Liter. Yeah, not much air. Just a little bit of air. Just a little bit. This one now, low tongue, breathe out. Liter. Liter. Yeah, liter. Yeah, there was a lot of liter on the ground after the concert. Okay? All right. This next one is interesting, okay? Many students say, I never know if someone is saying, yes, I can, or no, I can't. Okay, we're going to practice them together, and I'm going to add some things to the board to make it more clear. For this one here, the positive one, I like to add some extra ends to it. And this sound comes through your nose at the end. I can. I can. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I can. Think about the sound through your nose. I can. can. Yeah. It sounds pretty positive. Sounds good. Say, can. I can. can. Marcella, try it for us. I can. I can. Very good sound. Good job. Sounds very positive. Like, yeah, I can. Oleg, can you speak Russian? Yes, I can. Good job. That sounded perfect, man. Good job. All right, Valerio, can you speak Italian? Yes, I can. Good job. A nice soft sound at the end. Vindaria, can you speak Mongolian? Yes, I can. Very nice. Soft can. sound through your nose. I can. Okay? Can. All right. Yamin, can you speak Arabic? Yes, I can. Good job. Ah, can. Yeah. Okay? This is easy. But just think about that soft sound through your nose. Yeah, I can. Okay? But this one, a lot of students, when they hear it and when they speak it, the T becomes important for students, but it's not as important when we speak it in English. This one is not can't. You're never going to hear I can't. T, t, t. It doesn't happen in English. We say I can't. Yes. I can't. This is what's called, teacher Ryan and I were talking about today, it's called the glottal stop. Okay? And what this means is we don't do a T, we do 
Okay, you got it, Carol. So I like to put a line like this, okay, to remind us it's here it's positive. I can. I can. And then here, I can. That's great, Carol. Sounds really good. Can we give it a try? Give us I can. I can. That's perfect, okay? Ryoji, give it a try. I can. That's right. Flavia, I can. That's right. And Jessica, your turn. I can. I can't. That's right. And Marcella, you did a great job with the first one. Now try this one. I can't. One more time. I can't. That's right. Really good. Yeah, I mean, give it a try. I can't. I can't. That's right. And now, yeah, I mean, back to the easy one. I can. I can. Really good. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. It's important, right? Well, there you go. Try it for us. I can't. I can't. That's right. And now back to the positive one. I can. I can. That's right. Hey, Flavia, can you speak Portuguese? Yes, I can. Okay. Can you speak Japanese? No, can't. No, what? I can't. I can't. That's right. Good correction. Good work. Okay. And Oleg, can you speak Russian? Yes, I can. Can you speak Mandarin Chinese? I can't. Okay. Now, oh, I heard the T. Remember, we don't say I can't. We say I can't. I can't. That's well, a little harder. I can't. I can't. That's right. Good job. I can't. I can't. So here we have I can, I can, I can, I can't. <laughs> okay. That's the difference. And many students frequently are trying to listen for the T. When someone says, uh, I, I can't go to your party, people say, wait, was that a yes or a no? Because they're trying to hear the t, 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 and it doesn't exist in spoken English. Instead, we say, I can't go to your party, I can't. Sorry, I'm busy that night, I can't, okay? And, uh, oh, no, actually my plans changed. Now I can go to your party, yes, I can. Okay, so stop listening and stop saying the T sound. Stop listening for it and stop saying it. And you gotta start doing the huh instead. So Jessica, give it a try. I can't. I can't. That's right. And uh, Jessica, can you speak? Um, can you speak French? I can. Nice job. And can you speak Portuguese? Yes, I can. Good. Can you speak English? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Nice job. <laughs> exactly. You're doing it right now, okay? So just remember, nice, soft, positive sound. I can. I can. Yeah. I can. <laughs> and this one is a... Can. Uh, I can't. I can't. I can't. Impossible. Okay, I can't. Okay? Let's do it as a class, everybody together. One, two, three. Can. can. And this one here. One, two, three. Can. 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 Nice job, everybody. Sounds nice and clear. Okay. This next one, I have to talk about the vocabulary. We all know what this one is. This is work, okay? okay. So before you came to the USA, Oleg, what was your job in Kazakhstan before the USA? What was your job? Oh, difficult. <laughs> difficult to explain. Ryoji, how about you? But in Japan, what was your job? Uh, sports trainer. Sports trainer. So that was his job. Okay, we know what those are. This is a common word in English. For this one, please put up one finger, everybody. Put one finger up. Okay, and Dorita, put up one finger, please. There we go. Good job. Okay, and we're and we're gonna touch right here. Ah, oh. ah, oh. oh, job. That's my job. Does your job make you say ah? Oh. No, your job makes you stressed out, right? Like oh, but this is job. Ah, oh. the sound comes from the back and middle of your throat. Ah, oh. job. That's my job. Okay, I'm an English teacher. That's my job. This one is actually a boxing term, okay? It's a term from fighting. If you watch UFC or if you watch boxing, the, the, it is a short punch, okay? Not the, okay, it's the quick punch. This is a jab, okay? A jab is a, okay, a quick punch, a fast punch, okay? For this one, the sound is two fingers up, please. Everybody put up two fingers. Now, Flavia, put up two fingers, okay? Put them up, thank you. And we're going to touch here. Not the middle, but the back, the sides. Jab. Jab. After the jab, you have to be fast. Yeah, not all. Jab. That's, yeah, he's a good fighter. He's really, he that does a good job using the jab, okay? Good job using the jab, fighter, okay? So you see that in fights. They say, hey, good job in that fight. Good job with your jab. It means like nice work using the short punch, the fast punch, okay? So let's go and ask a few people to try it for us. Let's go to Valerio. First try this one, job. Job. Nice work. And now back to the short punch, jab. Jab. Nice job, man. I really hear it, okay? All right? And Binderia, give us jab. Jab. Good job. And now job. Job. 
Good job. Good work. I really hear the difference and I see the difference. Good work. Marcella, your turn for job. Job. Good job. And now the two fingers here. Jab. Jab. Um, well, more, put up the fingers, please. Jab. Jab. I like it. Okay. He uses the jab. And actually, I should say she uses the jab because now there are more and more women fighters, right? I think that's excellent. Do any of you watch the UFC? Yeah? Yeah? The women fighters are so good now. I'm just so impressed with the women fighters. Like They're so exciting, and they have so much skill. I love the women fighters in the UFC. It's great. Okay, let's do it as a class together, everybody. One more time. Put up that one finger here. One, two, three. Jab. Jab. Good work. And now the two fingers. Jab. Jab. Great work, everybody. Okay. All right. So the next one here. Students always have difficulty with this, right? A lot of students say, I don't know if she needs food or a moment to relax, okay? <laughs> because if she's angry, she might need a moment to relax. If she's hungry, she needs a burger, right? So people say, wait, did she say she's in a bad mood or she needs food, okay? I, I didn't hear it. We have to talk about how it feels in order to learn how it sounds. For this one, it's the same sound as jab. Angry. 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 Great job, Carol. Yeah, Benria put up the two fingers. Angry. 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 Great work. Angry. Sounds really good. Oleg, give it a try. Angry. 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 Yeah, it's a a a angry. 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 Yeah, yeah, I mean, give it a try. You're doing it. Angry. angry. Really good. Flavia, your turn. Angry. angry. Really great pronunciation. Ryoji, angry. angry. Good job, okay? But this one is my favorite sound to teach, okay? Oh, I love this one so much, okay? So for this one, we have to add a little at the beginning, but it's very difficult to hear the in speech. What's most important is this sound right here, okay? In this one, we use a, a, a. This one, put up your fist. We ready, everybody? Put it up. Ryoji, you know what's coming, okay? Oleg, put it up. <laughs> this one is hungry. 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 Good job, Carol. Yeah, and I can see that you're moving your head. I'm hungry. Ugh. Okay. Marcella, give it a try. Hungry. Good job. I saw you put the pressure. Good work. Okay. Oleg, give it a try. Hungry. Hungry. Yeah, good work. It's difficult for Russian speakers sometimes to do this sound, but you did it really well. Ryoji, give it a try. Hungry. Hungry. Yeah, more pressure. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, hungry. That's it. Great job. Flavia, you're doing it. Good work. Give us hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. Okay? Yeah, I mean, give it a try. I'm hungry. Good job, man. And I saw, what you'll see when students do it right is they move their head a little bit. Hungry. I'm hungry. Because you're putting the pressure. Okay? The pressure is important. Okay? So remember, when you're talking about if you're hungry, think about the pressure in your stomach, right? Because you need food. I'm hungry. Ugh! Okay? Yeah. And then they give it a try. Give us hungry. Hungry. Good job, I really heard the pressure. Hungry. And now go back to the easy one, angry. Angry. Really good job, I really heard the difference and I could Thank see. You. Good work, that was really clear, nice. Valerio, your turn for the easy one first, angry. Angry. Good job, and now put the pressure, hungry. Hungry. Yeah, now give some huh at the beginning. Hungry. That's it, that's perfect pronunciation. I'm hungry. My stomach needs food, I'm hungry. Okay, now. We have practiced this before, but I want to tell you guys, when you say this word, you don't actually have to... Okay, but now let's do this. If this is 100% hungry, take it down to 30% hungry. hungry. Some pressure. Hungry. I'm hungry. That was, I mean, that was right on, man. Perfect, okay? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You don't have to say, I am hungry. People are going to think that you're extremely hungry if you talk like that, okay? But... 30% pressure now. It's just some pressure. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm hungry right now. Okay. So you don't need the crazy pressure every time you do it. But I want you to feel that because I want you to feel the difference in class. But in reality, in real life, 30% pressure is enough. I'm hungry. Yeah. Let's go to In-N-Out Burger. I am hungry. Okay. Yeah. And now let's go back to the easy one. Everybody together. Two fingers up. This one is angry. 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 Really good. And now back to this one here with the pressure. Hungry. hungry. I'm hungry. Okay. I'm hungry. Yeah, now we do have a term in English that I will write on the board for us over. I'll put it over here. 
It is a slang term. It's a new term that we haven't used that's maybe in the last like 10 years is popular. We jokingly say, hangry, okay? It means I'm unhappy because I need food, okay? So if you're like driving and driving and driving and your friend will not stop for food, and you're like, dude, I'm getting hangry. We need food, okay? I'm so hungry. Okay, so you're hungry and angry together, okay? You need food, so you're unhappy because of that. We jokingly say, I'm getting a little bit hangry. We need to stop soon to get some food, or else I'm going to turn into a mean person, okay? So that's what we, when we say, I'm hangry. I'm, I'm, I need food, and my mood is becoming bad because of that, okay? So this is a slang term we can use, hangry. But that one doesn't use the pressure. That one uses the H, the A sound, just with the H huh on the beginning. So this one here, though, when you just need food, I am hungry with the pressure. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Cool. Um, let's do the last one now. For this last one, I want you to get your phone and to put it on selfie camera, please. Selfie camera. Okay. Okay, selfie camera. Okay, everybody's going real quick. Just yeah, you look good. Y'all look great. Okay, for this one here, this one here is pretty easy. It's the same sound as job. That one is ah 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 jar. Okay, job. This one is cotton. Cotton. Yeah, that's the material of my shirt. I would say probably most of us are wearing cotton. Marcella, you're a, you have a cotton shirt, I think. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's a cotton shirt, right? The material is probably cotton. But I think that in the real, you, yours is not cotton. It is a sports material, right? Yeah. yeah. So you can imagine cotton is the material of the shirt. Probably more than half of us are wearing a cotton shirt today. Now this one is the covering for a window. Okay. Usually made of sometimes made of cotton, but you tie them and then you pull them out in order to close and to turn off the light or to make it dark in a room. Okay. So this one is easy, ah, 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 cotton. For this one, okay, it is the fabric near a window that you close in order to make it dark in the room. This one is curtain. Good job. For this one, we need to think about our lips, okay? And we need to make our lips forward and open, er. And I like to show the camera this one really closely. This one is er, curtain. Let me point to that back there. Curtain, er, 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 okay? A lot of students do this as ah. Close the cottons. We're going to watch a TV show. Please close the cottons. It's too bright. Right. Close the cottons? No, oh, no. We need to close the curtains. Err. Okay. So let's look at that selfie camera and just look at our lips. This is important. Err, err, err. Err, err, err. Jessica, you got it. Good job. Okay. Err. Early. Birthday. Err. Curtains. Okay. So you're pushing your lips forward and open. Err. Flavia, that's great. That is perfect. Okay. Marcella, you're doing it. Nice job. You mean? Good job, man. Curtains. Curtains. Err. 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 Okay. Mean the real give it a try. Curtains. Yeah. Push your lips a little more forward. Err. I saw it. Good job. Great improvement. Ryoji, give it a try. Curtains. Really nice work, man. This is difficult for East Asian languages, and you did it perfectly. Okay, Carol, give it a try. Curtain. Curtain. Good job. And Valerio, your turn. Curtain. Curtain. And Ole. Curtain. That's right. And Jessica. Curtain. Okay. Give me more with the lips for er. Curtain. I like it. I saw the difference, and I heard an improvement. Good job of that. Okay. So again, just look at that selfie camera, and you have to think about the shape of your lips. They are forward and open. Err. Cur, curtain. If you decide to do it as ah, some students do what I call the smile version, ah, close the cottons. You're saying this word by accident, okay? And it can cause confusion. Close the cottons. Cotton shirt? I don't understand. Close the cottons. What do you mean? Oh, you said close the curtains. Err. That's it, Jessica. Good job. Okay. Hey everybody, if you're watching on Facebook, remember, share the class. Click the share button, give it to your friends, it's free. Let's do a quick review of all of the words, and then we'll do the telephone activity. We ready? Okay. Hold on, what's up? Oh, thank you, man. Good, good job. Had his arms crossed there, I was getting stressed out. Okay, here we go. So the first one here, remember this one is a unit of liquid measurement for water or gasoline, of course. This one, high tongue. E, 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 liter. E, 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 e. Liter of beer, yeah. 
Okay, but this one now, this is garbage that's not in a garbage can. This is garbage that's in the park, that is on the beach. This is bad, garbage that's really bad because nobody threw it into the can. This is low tongue, breathe out, letter, letter, Open up, low tongue, breathe out, letter. Jessica, give it a try, letter. Open more, please, letter. Later. Better. Good. I want you to open more. It feels strange, but that's the way to do it. Later. Later. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. The next one here. Soft sound through your nose. The positive one. I can. I can. Yeah. I can. I can. Okay. This one here. No way. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah. There's no T. It's not I can't. It's I can't. That's great. Sounds good, everybody. This next one, it's your work. It's your occupation. This is a uh, 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 job. job. This one is a quick punch in boxing or mixed martial arts, UFC, ah, 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 with two fingers, jab. Okay? This next one, same sound as jab. This one is when you're in a bad mood, when you're upset, when you're being a jerk to everybody. This is angry. Angry. With the two fingers again. Angry. Angry. Okay? Angry. This one is similar, but now we have the pressure in the stomach. Hungry. Hungry. Yeah. Okay? This next one is pretty simple. Same as job. Cotton. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh. But this one needs more work. We need to push our lips forward and open. Curtain. Curtain. Really good, everybody. I can hear it. Good job. Okay. So I'm going to give you a telephone number. And it is... Um, it is a, but I'm not going to say the numbers. I'm going to say the words. So, for example, if I say can, that's a three. If I say job, that's a four. If I say liter, that's a zero. Okay? So, please get a pen and paper, or also your phone is okay. You can type the number in your phone if you want to. I'm going to give you the phone number of the San Diego Padres baseball team. Okay? So if you want to call them and order a group of tickets for you and your friends, call this phone number to go watch a baseball, a baseball game. Okay? So this one here <coughs> from the Padres, this, the phone number of the San Diego Padres baseball team is, okay? Here we go. Angry. Litter. Curtain. Hungry. Curtain. Jab. Jab. Kit. Cotton. Kit. Okay. Oleg, what did you hear, man? What do you think the phone number is of the San Diego Padres? What is it? 619-7955-383. That's right. Good job. 619-795-5383. And that's the number you can call to get group tickets for a San Diego Padres baseball game. Have any of you been to a baseball game at the stadium before? Yeah, it's fun. The game is boring. <laughs> but being with your friends, popcorn. drinking beer, having hot dogs, popcorn, nachos, and it, fun. it's fun, you know? Fun. Being with your friends is fun. <laughs> Baseball is a little slow, okay? But it's relaxing to go to the game. You're just there with your friends, so go to a baseball game, go to a Padres game, it's fun, okay? All right, so I did this phone number. Now I need someone else in the class to give your phone number. Carol is volunteering, I love it. So she's gonna give her phone number in Italy or in the USA? Italy. Okay, sounds good. So remember, Carol, speak it loudly, slowly, and clearly, because we all have to listen, look, and write each number, okay? Okay, okay here we go, here's Carol's number in Italy. Can. Job. Hungry. Job. Cotton. Curtain. Can. Hungry. Job. 
Complete? Okay. Who's feeling good? You know what I mean? Did you hear it? What do you think it is, man? Uh, 3, 4, 7, 5, 8, 9, 3, 7, 5. Yeah. Uh, I have two differences from that. Is that correct, though? Yeah. Ah, okay, so he got it. I had some difficulties. Two and three. Um, so, for example, yeah, the two and the three, I thought I heard can. But this was, you said can. Okay. Yeah, so it should be I can. That's it. Good job with the stop. That's okay. We corrected it, and you improved. Good work. And the other one was four and five. That final five, I thought I heard job. But we job. need jab for a five. Ah. Ah. That's it. Good job. That's an improvement. Good work there, Carol. Okay. Nice work. Any other volunteers for their phone number? Yeah, I mean, is doing it first day in the class. I'm happy you're volunteering, man. Okay, I'm going to move over here so that I can see you well. Okay, so remember, speak loudly, slowly, and clearly. Okay, here we go. Letter. Jab. Jab. Jaw. Curtain. Hang to it. Can. Jab. Curtain. Letter. Complete? Yeah. Okay. All right, pretty clear. There was one that was a little too close, but I think everything else was really clear. Marcella, what are you thinking? Can you tell us what the number was? Yeah, one, five, four, four, nine, seven, three, five, nine, one. I have one difference from that, and it was the one that was the most difficult. Yeah, okay. Valerio, what do you think? What's the number? One, five, four, four, nine, six, Three, five, nine, one. Is that it? No. Oh, we have some differences. Okay. All right, I mean, what is the number? Go ahead and tell us. Uh, zero, five, four, four, nine, seven, three, five, nine, one. Ah, okay, so it was a seven. Okay, so the two things I want to correct. For the first one, you said litter. Okay, you had the low tone. Eh, eh, eh. But for a zero, this one should be liter. E. Liter. That's it. You corrected it. Good job. But then the other one that was difficult, I think, for a lot of people, because you kind of said hangry. You kind of said the slang term over here. We need to be clear with one, with one or the other. For this one, remember, you have to the pressure in your stomach. Hungry. Hungry. That's better. Good improvement. And this one is no pressure. It's all from here. Ah, 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 angry. So give it a try, I mean, give us angry. angry. Good job, and now give us the pressure. Hungry. Hungry. That's, a, that's perfect, man. Good correction. Good work. Okay, one more person. I want either Jessica or Flavia to do it, okay? <laughs> Who's going to do it, Jessica or Flavia? It's Flavia. Cool. Great, Flavia. Thank you for volunteering. Okay. Okay, we ready? Okay. So, yeah? Okay, remember, loudly, slowly, clearly. Okay, here we go. Two times? Job, two times. Oh, wow. Job, job, job. Uh-huh. Job, <laughs> job. Okay. It's a long number. I like it. Okay. All right. All right. So, who's feeling good? I'll go ahead and try. I have 0609 some some differences? Yeah. Okay. Okay, what are, well, go ahead and say it for us, Bobby. What are the numbers? One, six, one, nine, uh -huh. eight, zero, two, four, 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 two. Okay. Well you know the only problem was up here. Everything else was really good. So nice job, Flavia. Yeah. Let's review these ones together. Remember, this one is high tongue, liter. Now this one, you have to do low tongue, breathe out, liter. 
answer. That's better. One more time, just Flavia. Just Flavia, everybody. One more time, Flavia, please. Litter. That's a great improvement. Good job. Good. So it's the eh, eh, eh to do a number one today. And then here is the easy sound. Okay. All right. Good job, everybody. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish the class. We're going to review the words really quickly, then we'll say goodbye. So here we have again the high tongue liter. Liter. And low tongue liter. Yeah. Really good. Okay, this one here is soft and super positive. I can. Yeah. yeah. And then here, no way. I can't. Can. 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 That's right. Okay, this one here, ah, 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 job. And this one here, ah, 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 jab. Yeah. That's it. Good job, Jessica. This one here, same sound, angry. 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 Yeah, no pressure down here. No, this one just, I'm angry right now. I'm angry. This one here, I need some food in my stomach. Hungry. 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 Good work. And then here we have ah, 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 cotton. Cotton. And now with the lips forward and open, curtain. Curtain. Really good job, everybody. Okay, cool. Okay, I guess I'll pick up the camera and tell everybody uh, thank you for watching the free pronunciation class today with Connect English. We do it every week on Wednesday, so you're always invited to join us. And uh, you can always find more of the uh, classes on our YouTube channel. Just search for Connect English on YouTube and you'll find it. Also, the link is in the comments here as well, so you can join and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's give a goodbye world to everybody. Okay, are you ready, everybody? So one more time, goodbye world. Bye world. Bye. Okay, cool. So one more time, everybody. Remember, please share the class. It's free. Give it to your friends. And if you'd like more information about studying English in California, just go to connectenglish.edu. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.